Working at heights is one of the most dangerous jobs in construction. Despite strong regulations and proactive inspections and blitzes, falls continue to be the leading cause of traumatic workplace deaths. In the following video, one of our construction inspectors discusses what we will look for when inspecting swing stages, focusing on fall prevention. Safety on the work site should never be taken for granted. I'm Timothy White, uh, Construction Safety Inspector with the Ministry of Labor from the Ottawa office. Today we're at the Infrastructure Health and Safety Association Training Centre and we're here to show you some of the items we look for when we're completing a swing stage inspection. A typical inspection begins from a little distance away, we're looking at the setup initially, watching the, the people operate the equipment and looking at the stage from a distance, making sure that uh, their proper per personal protective equipment is in place, as well as the ground setup with the public way protection and fencing. I'll call the individuals to the ground and then I'll, I'll ask them some general questions. So what's the nature of work today, guys? Oh, we're just doing some prep for some restoration. I like to discuss the training they've had, the procedures that they're using, the actual type of work they're performing that day, and the tools and personal protected or equipment that are acquired for that type of work. What's the capacity of your stage here? The stage here is uh, 750. Then I'm looking at the stage, its condition, I'm looking for pins as well as uh, the condition of the stage in general, uh, meshing as well as the operation and how the individuals are able to operate the stage and uh, what emergency plans they have in place. If power goes out, uh, we'll, we'll disconnect the power just in case and we have a dis descent control. As well as the general condition of the stage and required items on the stage. Can you tell me what you're checking for when you say you check your harnesses? Yeah, we'll the mandatory uh, personal protective equipment on a swing stage includes a complete fall arrest system with a lifeline tied back to a suitable anchorage system as well as general construction uh, requirements including hard hat safety boots and glasses as necessary for the work being performed. The major hazard involved with swing stage work is falls from a height as well as swing stage collapse. This is why it's critical for all workers to make sure that they perform daily checks on their equipment, including their roof setup, the stage itself, as well as any personal protective equipment and lifeline systems. And can you uh, give me an idea of how often you're examining your equipment? Employers and supervisors are required to ensure that their workers are properly trained and that the equipment they have is suitable for use. Guys, that's uh, good for the ground. We're going to go up on the roof now and I'm going to look at your setup on the roof. Once I've completed the ground level inspection, I'll take the worker to the roof and I'll have him explain the roof setup. First, I'm going to make sure that the, your label matches up with the number of weights and your overhang allowance. I'll be looking at the anchorage systems, the general rigging practices that are in use. I'll look at the lifelines, abrasion resistance, and making sure that the overhang allowance is in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions, which should be posted on the beam. These are some of the items I'd be looking at. Six counterweights, high back coming through the counterweights with a half Swing stages are a versatile and safe piece of equipment if used properly. It's important for all workers, employers and supervisors to ensure that they are used properly and maintained. For more information, visit the Ministry of Labour website or contact the Infrastructure Health and Safety Association.